Joe, I'll tell you for sure one thing. Omaha is going to be partying late tonight. It's because of these LSU fans, and they helped bring LSU to the top of the college baseball world with their first national championship since 2009, taking down those who dethroned them in 2017 when Florida beat them back then, but they got their revenge tonight. And all the fans are still in the stands. They stayed for the trophy presentation, the victory lap, and a lot of Tigers right behind me still trying to soak it in themselves. I've already seen people passing out Ziploc bags to grab some of the dirt from here at Charles Schwab to just remember this moment because after Saturday night, we thought this was going to be a huge fight when it went to 11 innings, and then Florida came back with a 20-plus run game, and then tonight, the Tigers delivered and it was all came to a moment for Trey Morgan who also became the first baseman all tournament team tonight because of his performance actually all week here's what he had to say about the national championship it's awesome I mean it's everything we talked about uh, thought about dreamed about for so many months <laughs> but to finally be able to do it to get a chance to do it it's awesome it's incomparable what were your words with your dad? I saw you ran right to him on the sideline. What, yeah. what were those words? I mean, that's the that's the first people I hug after every game, win or loss. I mean, because without them, this would all be a dream. But with them, with the faith they put in me, with the work we put in, we turned into a reality. What was that mindset change from yesterday to come in here today and do what y'all did? Yeah, I mean, that what happened yesterday didn't even make it on the bus. Uh, we talked about it in the locker room, and we talked about we were going to flush it before we got on the bus. We didn't let a single person step on that bus until they forgot about it, and it showed up today. We came out here, and we played practically our best game of the season. It was rinse and repeat for the Tigers after last night coming into today, and then LSU got the national championship. Taking a note from their football team a couple years ago, a couple Tigers already on the field with their cigars. I can smell it coming through here. I'm sure there will be plenty more as they pop up, but it will be a busy night in Omaha with these LSU fans and a national championship going back to Baton Rouge. Joe? The night is young indeed, and uh, when this team gets to the championship series, they have a lot of success. Won it all in 91, 93, 96, 97, 2000, 2009, and then I have no idea what happened in 2017, but uh, back to reality in 2023. It is a seventh national championship for the LSU Tigers, and they are also the first team to win a basketball title and now a baseball title in the same season because their women's basketball team won oh, yeah. back in March. That's right. Just full of winning. Wow. Lots of winning. <laughs> that was a great graphic right there. And they had to come through the losers bracket to do it too. They didn't sure they? did. Well, they play like that's eight tough. or nine games and in... they've played eight games in the last ten days. Yeah, that's a lot of baseball. Wondered what they would have in the tank for tonight. Yeah. 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 They Especially had a with lot. that bullpen. <laughs> yeah. Worked they could play right. again tomorrow, couldn't they? Probably. All right, Joe, good job. Congrats to the Tigers. We'll be right back.